Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Not even me. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? People can't do something themselves. They want to tell you you can't do it. But until you start believing yourself, it's over. And I guarantee a week won't go by in your life you won't regret walking out letting them get the best of you. Let me tell you something you already know. It's real simple. In any fight, it's the guy who's willing to die who's going to win that itch. You demanded more of us. You demanded perfection. To me, being perfect is not about that scoreboard out there. I ain't saying that I'm perfect because I'm not. And I ain't going to never be. None of us are. We're in hell right now, gentlemen. Believe me. One game. To be the best that you can be. To fight and die for that edge. If you can do that, gentlemen, then you're perfect. This is a story about Ironman athletes. An Ironman triathlon is one of a series of long-distance triathlon races organized by the World Triathlon Corporation, also known as WTC. It consists of a 2.4-mile swim, 112-mile bike ride, and a marathon. It's racing in that order without a break. Now, this isn't a story strictly about the journey of an Ironman, but more about how the passion they have for endurance sports fuels their drive and determination for success. Uh, my name is Chris Cleary. Uh, I'm 34 years old. I own the treadmill in Carmel and I'm an Ironman. What exactly is an Ironman? An Ironman is a swim, bike, and run. It's a 2.4 mile swim, a 112 mile bike ride, and a 26.2 mile run. So to put that into context, that'd be like swimming from Alcatraz to San Francisco, biking from San Francisco to Carmel High, and then running from Carmel High to Big Sur. All in the same day. All back to back. Uh, training for a triathlon with, with three individual sports that you have to put together into one race uh, it takes some planning and takes a little bit of self-analysis. So uh, traditionally what a race, when you're training for a particular race, there's always a build-up uh, where you're doing base, base training, so you're putting a lot of time, uh, focusing more on skill, uh, and then you start to ramp it up where you start to work on your cardiovascular system and some strength and more speed. Uh, for myself, I've always been a bit of a, a weaker swimmer. Uh, I'm a pretty good cyclist and I'm a decent runner. Uh, so I tend to spend a little bit more time working on skills with swimming. Um, spend a lot of time actually working with skills. And then near, as I get near a race, I start to just work on endurance and forget totally about skill. Cycling, uh, it's constant getting stronger, 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 as there's not that much. There is skill to cycling, but there's not that much um, at, when you compare it to a swimming.
same thing, work on skills every time I run, but it's all about uh, getting in fast, solid miles constantly um, and staying healthy. There's nothing, I mean, you can't race if you're not healthy. So it's one thing to actually put the work into your body, but without taking the time to, to relieve some of the stresses you're putting on your body, you, you won't end up standing at the start line to race. Did you get started with triathlons? Uh, I got started with triathlons three years ago. I was on a plane back um, from Hawaii, um, from my honeymoon actually, and my wife and I were talking about how I've always wanted to do triathlons, and uh, she dared me to sign up for one, so when I got home, I did, and uh, I haven't regretted it one day since. How have triathlons influenced your life? Uh, they've had a great influence on my life. They've really changed the way I look at uh, myself, um, my relationships with my family, um, how I go about trying to achieve a goal. Uh, the thing about triathlon, it's so it's so dynamic. There's so many uh, different parts to it that it's you need to be flexible. Um, you need to be able to see where your weakness is and where your strengths lie um, and try to balance all those out. Otherwise, um, otherwise you sort of become a one-trick pony and, and life is about being more well-rounded. Do your passion for endurance sports have anything to do with the opening treadmill? Uh, they had a lot to do with it. I mean, I would say more uh, the active lifestyle and healthy lifestyle and trying to inspire people has been something I've always been involved with and something I've always liked. Um, definitely had a large influence as to why we finally did um, pursue the treadmill. What is the most important lesson in endurance sports have taught you? Um, I, think, I think patience. Um, patience and the, the importance of having a plan and having um, a, a goal and, and uh, I think if anything um, even without really consciously knowing that I've learned that over the last three years because every time you, you have a race you sign up for a race there's a plan that you have to go through and uh, and, and I've been able to, to lend that to other things in business um, if there's something I want to do as far as our store it, I can't just turn the button and make it happen I need to kind of plan it out and, uh, and work towards that. What are your plans for the treadmill in the future? Um, it's tough. The, the industry, the shoe industry, um, running shoe industry is definitely changing right now. Um, a lot of people can get the same shoes we sell online for a lot less. Um, but what we have is we have knowledge and um, you know there's only a certain amount of shoes that we can sell somebody or that the industry can provide and there's millions of different runners with millions of different issues and, and biomechanics and you can't get that sort of analysis um, on a website and I think what we're going to try to do is become a little bit more, um, more have more expertise in that field and definitely uh, some study in biomechanics, running biomechanics, uh, human gait analysis. Um, that's kind of the direction we're going. So almost, almost creating sort of a lab experience where people can come in, be videotaped, and we can work with people over a period of time and make them better runners and healthier runners. Hi, I'm Giles Healy. Training for the triathlons, I usually it's a six or seven day affair each week, and um, usually got three days of swimming in there. Um, usually try and get in at least one ocean swim. There's a group that swims a couple of times a week. Um, the rest of them are pool swims. Also get in a lot of mountain biking and um, road cycling too. And in the wintertime, end up riding on the trainer in the garage, which can get a little boring. And uh, running, um, I try and run mostly on the trails, just lessen the impact on my body and um, just try and keep it fun, change things up all the time. Every week's a little bit different and have fun.
definitely had a, a big uh, impact in my life. It's it's fun to have a passion outside of your work and family and something something that's an expression of who you are. And um, it's really taught me a lot just with endurance sports about persevering and you definitely even in the training and racing. I mean, sometimes it's it's tough and can you know definitely be painful at times too. And I think it's some definitely some good lessons for life about just persevering through the hard times and keeping going and and you know trying to find something you know in in those dark clouds the silver lining in there it's it's really important and I I, I think that's why I'm so drawn to endurance sports and the, uh, the other people that um, compete and take part in endurance sports definitely a special group of people today's important to have a passion in life that drives you definitely uh, passion is life I mean without passion you, you're sort of complacent um, I've told a lot of people that being inspired is, you don't really have a choice as to what inspires you. Um, if you see something and it, and it speaks to you, you, you don't choose what does speak to you, but being dedicated, dedicated to the choice. So having a passion is great, having a passion is really important, but more importantly, being dedicated to that passion is what's the most important. Uh, any words of advice for people that want to follow their dreams and maybe turn into a business? Uh, I'd say follow your passion. Um, I have dreams that I never pursued, but uh, just because I was aware that they probably weren't possible. But uh, find a passion and go for it. If you can, if you can find a passion and work with your passion, you'll probably never feel like you worked a day in your life. And I think that's really important.